All right, guys. Let's go ahead and take apart this 700. As y'all seen in the last video, if you watched it, this thing came as broke, cleaned out the roller, and it worked. But this is definitely disgusting, so I've got gloves and protection on. Sprayed it down with some Lysol. Kill that coronavirus, you know what I'm saying? But let's go ahead and remove the battery. Um, we have a T10 and standard. Remove the spinners. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. Six. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Huh. I don't know. There might be one under this. It's the first one of these I've ever done, so we'll see how 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 it goes. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Nine screws, it looks like. Nine T10s, sorry. It's like the charging pads right here could use a good cleaning too. This one doesn't have nowhere near as many sensors as the others. Next, we're gonna take the bumper shield off. I have no idea what size this one's gonna be. Wow, those are tiny. Um, huh. Definitely not the same size as any of the other robots. Those are super small. Give me a second. Yep. Yeah. Right. I'll be back. I got some more. Once bit drivers. Let's see if we can't find the right one. I guess it's gonna be like a T6 or something. The other one's a T8. It's a T8. So it's T7. What is this? T6. Yep, T6. Wow. So y'all see, T6 by two inch. All right, we'll remove the two, three, four, five, six, the six of these. I have no idea how this robot comes apart. I'm guessing it's gonna come apart similar to the other ones, but no guarantees, right? Oh wait, there's seven of these, my bad. Counts off today. All right, there's that. Let's pop this front piece off. Oh, there's a sensor wire in this one. So there is a wire. All right, we'll have to get a flat head. fall out and then wow that came apart really easy actually all right there's that so kind of a similar design 
to the other ones. It's uh, not exact. It's close, but not perfect. Definitely you know, took design features from each other. So let's go ahead and obviously we're gonna have to remove the motherboard before we can remove anything else. It's like wheels. Wheels could possibly be removed without it. Let's try, let's go ahead and try to remove a wheel without taking the motherboard off. Just to see if it's possible because I know people are mainly gonna be replacing wheels and brush motors. The brush motor, it can be removed, it looks like. It's like it's a standard design. The suction motor, definitely gonna to wanna to remove the motherboard, so. Let's go ahead, take this sensor off. It's like a side sensor, front sensor. These wheels have a sensor right here connected to this wire. Wow. Okay. And then it's gonna be one. Two, three Phillips, three Phillips head, and then we're gonna see if we can't finagle it up. There we go. And that is one wheel out. Actually in really good shape, not too dirty. Alright. And for this side, there's on-off power switch wires. Back sensors, it's like bin sensor, wheel sensor. All right, take all that off. The build quality of these is definitely a little bit better than the uh, new ones. So let's see here. Um, I'm guessing this will come out the same way that the new ones do. So the main bus, we're going to take this screw out right here. And then it just lifts right on out. Pull a connector right there. Don't stab yourself. And there's, the, there's the main drive of this. It does have a little bit of charring on it. So definitely doesn't surprise me. And then let's come over here and remove one, two. Where's that third one? Third one is going to be It's down here. Oh, nope. It's down here. So you gotta pick up the front bar without breaking it. And do that one. Ever so carefully. And then can I have all the wires out the way. There's that. And the connector. All right. And then the suction motor. You're gonna need to remove the motherboard. It's like four Phillips head. bar comes off too. I guess they're attached pretty good. Huh. Oh, the sensors come out. Wow. 
these are definitely built a lot different than the new ones. See, this is soldered straight to this sensor. So, placing that is kind of a pain. So, let's remove all these little wires. It's a little harder to do with these big gloves on, and I'm not too worried about these sensors. Tear down video is definitely a lot longer than I expected. This tear down is a lot worse than I thought. Okay. Thankfully, I'm not using any of these or selling any. finessing that comes off very easily three for each spinner for right and left spinners those actually almost look identical to the to the new ones except for the placement of the uh, brackets and the wires I imagine the motors probably are close to the same, if not the same. So if you really needed to, you'd probably get away with ordering a new one. Wow, that's a small Phillips head. All right, suction motor is three. Well, two for sure. This one's like a vent latch because it comes in with two and blower motor. So, there we have it, guys. Please, for the love of God, clean your vacuum better than this person did. They did a fucking terrible job. This is insane. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you all enjoy. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, um, if I don't have a video, just ask. I'll, I'll, I'll do anything I can to try to try to get the product and take it apart. I've had a couple of requests for Samsung robots, but I I don't believe the market's there just yet for me to start selling those parts. But we'll see.